Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosell and this is my YouTube channel dedicated to me talking about tech. And uh, today I want to do one more video about optical media and uh, specifically I've done a lot of videos about the M-Disc over the past couple of years, such as why you might want to use the M-Disc, what you need to get going, backing up with M-Disc. And for this video, I wanted to uh, just do one specifically talking about the actual media, like the M-Disc itself, where you can buy it, um, who's still making these. Um, and also I want to just point out, because I'm currently buying, in the process of buying a new um, Blu-ray writer for creating these M-Discs. Uh, it's worth knowing that the top speed is not very fast, the top write speed. The top write speed I've seen on an M-Disc is 6x, so it's just worth worth knowing if you're looking to get into optical just to create M-Discs. Uh, it's kind of a waste getting a 16x drive, or it's not a waste, but it's just, you know, it's not going to help you for M-Disc burning that you won't, you won't be able to get the speed uh, because the uh, the disc process the disc is actually a speed constraint. It doesn't support very high write speeds. So as to what went on uh, with the M disc, so I actually interviewed the inventor of the M disc, Barry Lunt, a couple of years ago, uh, and he discussed the kind of um, the ev evolution of the company. It was started. It was the product of this startup called Millenniata Inc. Unfortunately, they went bankrupt in December 2016. They have to say, what a tragedy. It feels like um, it was just maybe great product. I don't know why it went uh, belly up, but it did. Um, but the IP was transferred to Verbatim and Wikipedia says Ritec. I can't recall if Barry said that Ritec is a um, is a like legitimate manufacturer, but it, it seems to be that they're still making these and Wikipedia mentions um, that they are. Uh, verbatim for sure is uh, is a legitimate licensee. So the, the startup that originated this went bust in 2016, December 2016, and now that's why you'll only see uh, M-Discs made by these other two companies on the market. You won't see Millenniata M discs. You, you will actually, and we'll just take a quick peek at those. Uh, but they're old stock. So the if you're shopping in the West, um, these are what you'll encounter on the market. This uh, these prices are pulled from B and H at the uh, time of recording this video, so the prices may fluctuate. Uh, they come in four, sorry, four Blu-ray varieties from quad layer, 100 gigs down to 25 gig single layer, and there's also the 50. Sorry, that's three varieties. Uh, 150 and 25 are the three capacities in Blu-ray. Uh, 25 single layer, 50 dual layer, 100 gigs quad layer. And then there's also uh, DVD M-discs. And uh, Verbatim has never made these as far as I know. So uh, those are uh, our old stock. Um, here's more of the uh, Verbatim M-discs, the uh, DL 50 gig ones. And they, they tend to come in single packs like this one, uh, five packs like this product, and then the 25 spindles, which are obviously the most expensive because it's the most media. Um, so I think at the 100 gig 25 spindle, you'll get in, it'll be about 200, 250 bucks thereabouts. Um, so as I mentioned, um, as far as I'm aware, that's the caveat, um, Verbatim have never made any DVDs because I guess by the time they got this tech, uh, DVDs were no longer making sense for archival because Blu-rays were on the scene. Um, but you will still actually see, this is what they looked like, the Millenniata M-Disc DVDs. Um, you can still actually find them on Amazon. Um, and they do have a write speed of 4x. So in general, I've made the point that I don't, I'm not really, as someone who uses optical for archival, I'm not so worried about deprecation and obsolescence. I think that by the time that's a real, real threat, and you know, there'll be plenty of time to move your archival stuff onto the next media, whatever, whatever is better. And hopefully a, um, storage media suitable for archival, cold archival with much better capacity than optical I hope that will be developed in the next few couple of decades. Um, but the exception to that would be these Millenniata produced products, especially like the DVDs. I think those will eventually 
be unpurchasable because the company is no longer making them and uh, we're on borrowed time buying up the stock of these. So if you really want to get your hands on Millenniata M-Disc DVDs, I would get them as soon as... Uh, while they're still available through sales channels like Amazon. Um, you can actually still also find the M-Disc BDRs, amazingly enough. Um, as far as I know, this is what this product is I pulled from Amazon. It's got the the kind of their distinctive branding um, M-Disc. Uh, although it says brand here, Electronics, Electronics World, I think I think that's a, just a Amazon data entry error. I think the manufacturer of these is actually Millenniata um because the it just matches up with their website they're kind of nice looking so that this is what the dvds look like and this is what the bdrs look like um so then the other one is Rytech, as i mentioned and they are a taiwanese manufacturer people on reddit the data hoarder sub have kind of mixed things to say about Rytech. some people say their discs aren't overall the best uh but they say that they produce uh two types only um, they don't seem to make the uh, quad layer Blu-rays or the dual layer. If you have seen them by Rytech, feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, this is we all are uh, the few few people in the world who care about archival media. <laughs> we're we're kind of all in this together. Um, so yeah, this is. Uh, but their website in English, at least, and I'm sure they have a better website in Taiwanese or Chinese. Um, their English version of their site only says that they do two products. Uh, so this is anyway this is what the bdr looks like the um uh 25 gig bdrs and this is what the dvds look like i found this listing on aliexpress which for those who don't know about aliexpress is kind of a good way to access asian products uh if you live in the west uh they i found the six pack of Rytech m disc dvds um 4x writing speed and uh $34. So let me just do that quickly. Sorry, 34 euro. Uh, 34 over 6. Load, load, load. Okay, that's 5 euro and 67 cents. So relatively uh, quite expensive. Like you're better off unless you have some specific reason to use the DVDs. It's uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper to just use the uh, BDR media. Uh, so that's it. That's my overview. Hope this is helpful if you're looking to start archiving onto the M-Disc in, uh, in the year 2024. Until the next video, thank you for watching.